From Government House, my wife Diana and I and our sons James and Alexander, who are out here for the Christmas holiday, wish you all a very happy Christmas. At this time of year, we share the joys and the sorrows of those who have seen both during the previous year of 2011. The joy, for example, of those footballers who played so well against Trinidad and Tobago and against Barbados, and the joy of Bermuda's 2007 World Cup cricket team, who returned to form with a vengeance to hit the MCC, the most famous cricket club in the world, to hit them for six. Looking forward, we applaud the series of Bermudian sportsmen and women who are now qualifying for the London Olympics in 2012. The prospect is quite exciting. We also share the sorrow of those who've lost family or friends this year, either naturally or through Bermuda's continuing scourge of shootings linked to illegal drugs. Thankfully, at least at the time that I'm recording this message, the shootings have not been as numerous as they were last year in 2010, but there have still been far too many. As the recession in Bermuda has bitten deeper, the demands on the charities which are helping families where the breadwinners are out of work, those demands have risen. I salute Bermuda's charities very sincerely together with their core of volunteers. This year, as last, it's a double billing, which is the feature of Bermuda, low taxes and a strong ethos of private and corporate giving, and long may it continue. Our religious leaders remind us, if we need reminding, of the historical reason for Christmas, a basis which is, of course, far more than just history for tens of thousands of Bermudians. It comes alive, visibly as well as audibly, at the, your carol services, which we much enjoy attending. Everyone, visitor and resident alike, comments on the beauty of your island of Bermuda. And everyone's right. Bermuda is more than picturesque all through the year, and those pictures don't tarnish the longer we stay. Now naturally, Christians, many Christians, see the hand of the Almighty. And those who follow a slightly different drumbeat perceive a force, the Brahman of India, if you like, or the formal cause, as he caused, called it, of Aristotle the Greek, without which the magnificent face of this island is even harder to explain. We have spent four fabulous years in Bermuda, and we look forward to another few months here. I have been proud to represent Her Majesty the Queen and Britain in such a fine island country. Nowhere I know, nowhere I can think of, outside of a few remote villages, shows such warmth, friendliness and courtesy to its visitors, whether short stay or long stay. I wish you all a very good Christmas, and I wish everyone in Bermuda an excellent 2012.